Hi, I'm Leslie Kendall with the Peterson Automotive Museum, and I'd like to welcome you to Reno, Nevada. On this episode of Global Garages, we're going to visit one of the most coveted collections of automobiles in the United States. Follow me into the world of Anne Brockington Lee, philanthropist, collector, and two-time winner of Pebble Beach Best in Show. Ladies and gentlemen, we're fortunate enough to be here with Ann Brockington Lee, the manager of the Robert M. Lee collection. And Ann, this must be a dream for a car gal. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. Well, you know, Bob started collecting cars back in the 50s. I don't think he realized that he was going to be a car collector, but he just kept buying cars that he liked. And it's a pretty good base for me to elaborate on. Yeah. So when Bob passed away in 2016, the big um, scuttlebutt was who was going to sell the collection. But then it became clear that I wasn't going to sell any cars. In fact, I was buying. I want, I want to see some of what you've been buying. Well, you'll be seeing them. You'll be seeing them. <laughs> this area, we have our mini row, which we love. And this is the um, American row. Bob and I always wanted a Kaiser Darren, but unfortunately, I bought this in Scottsdale about a year after he passed away. It's a 54, it has a Cadillac engine, and this is one of the factory colors. They did the sherbet green, yellow, white, tomato soup, can red, and black. <laughs> and we showed it at Quail, and it didn't get any awards, but Peep Automobile Magazine thought it was great. 1931 Chrysler Imperial. Gorgeous. Uh, 1941 Chrysler Windsor Town & Country Barrel Back, oh. uh, as opposed to um, like the, the Woody. Yes, yeah. or Hatchback. Yeah, a 427 Corvette. Yes. Oh my God. Stingray, Body by Fisher, and a 59 uh, Chevrolet Impala. I actually learned to drive in a 19 uh, 57 Chevrolet Nomad station wagon. What a fun car to learn to drive on. Yellow with fins that were metallic green inside. Okay. <laughs> As one does during yes. the Yes, <laughs> yes. This is a 1931 Daimler Double 650 Corsica Drophead Coupe. We showed this at Pebble Beach in 2006, and after having shown for 20 years, we finally won Best of Show. We came close many, many times, but our first Best of Show was this car. Well, they did right by this car. It's yeah. a Best of Show car every way you can look at it. The proportions, the design, the grandeur of the car. But yes. I want to ask you something, with your experience with this car. What was it like to win Pebble Beach? Oh. How did that feel after all this time? It was Unbelievable, unbelievable. And here's a picture of Bob getting out of the car, there he is. which I love. <laughs> he's like triumphant. And yes, he's, he's like triumphant. so excited. You know, and, and it it's not over until they call, call you. That's right. I mean, anything could happen out on that field. As we know. We have two special roadsters. This is a 1935 500K. And it won uh, Pebble Beach in 1982. We did at that time. It was owned by Tom Perkins. And this is probably my favorite car. It's a 1937 Hork 853 Sport Cabriolet, body by Volan Rohrbach. And when this one, this was our second win at Pebble Beach. You know, the buzz was on. Oh, that's the best of show. That's the best of show. And right. oh, and it's going to be. And I'm like, it ain't over until they call your name that's on right. the field. You never know. And I couldn't eat the whole, the whole week. This was restored completely in-house by our, our in-house restoration team. And it, it's flawless. 
And, and I want to say, you show so much enthusiasm for this. It's obvious that these cars are important to you. Yes. Why do you think they, they resonate with other people? And why do you think it's so important to keep cars like this in front of people? Well, you know, it, uh, people have asked me, how do you get young people involved? I don't know what the formula is. I think you just have to feel the passion. And uh, once you get, get the bug, you know, that's it. It's hard, not, it's hard to get rid of the bug. It's hard to get rid of the bug. It. And, uh, you know, even every car auction, I'm just, I'm like, oh, we want that one. I just, I have to stop. I was going to ask you to tell us a little bit about the car collector community in Reno and, 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 and what that's like for you. Well, um, one reason Reno is so popular with car collectors is the climate. It's mm -hmm. nice and dry. Um, and of course, Bill Harrah, who of the Harrah Casino fame, um, had a collection of 1,200 cars. Th these were his buildings. Ah, so these were the buildings that he kept his cars in. Exactly, exactly. Ah. So both of our warehouses, he had, and then he had buildings all in the back. He had his own chrome shop, his restoration shop. And because he had 1,200 cars here, um, uh, uh, restorers would come here. Mm -hmm. And so it was, it was good for the climate, good because there were a lot of restoration shops, and Bill Harrow was here. Well, that makes a lot of sense that, the, that this should be in Reno. Yes. I mean, in, in, in every way. I mean, the climate, uh, the fact that the history behind the buildings themselves mm -hmm. and, and Hara. And now there's a very, another very good reason. It's the Lee Collection. <laughs> and, and look at this. There's yet another gigantic room full of fabulous cars. Yes, the Ferraris start here and go all the way around into the middle. And of course, we have the uh, V16 Cadillacs and Alphas and Bugattis. This is a 250 GT. It was Bob's first Ferrari that he bought directly from Enzo Ferrari. Directly it's, from Enzo? Directly from Enzo Ferrari. He huh. had the good fortune of meeting Enzo in Modena, where they service cars and he said if you ever buy a car you buy it from Ferrari not from Luigi Canetti in New York and so Bob remembered that when he got back to New York he went to the New York show and he saw this car and he said oh my god and so Bob remembering the conversation with Enzo went back and sent Enzo a telex and said I don't know I, I just saw this fabulous 250 GT I don't know how much the car is worth but I have $9,500 in my savings account and I offer that for the car. Two days later, he got a call from the gentleman at the stand. And the gentleman said, I don't know who you are. I don't know how you know Ferrari. Even I, Luigi Canetti, his North American <laughs> importer, cannot buy the car. I've been instructed to sell you this car for $9,500 and I know it costs the factory three times that to build. Uh -huh. Bring me a cashier's check. And he slammed the phone on Bob. <laughs> and uh, Luigi was not happy about it, uh, but they became very, very close friends. Oh, Lifelong good. friends. Good. Wow. Just wow. I work at the Peterson Automotive Museum and I see some interesting cars but Anne's collection is like nothing I've ever seen before. The depth, the breadth, the quality, it's all there. And Anne is the perfect host. We look forward to our next journey with you. I'm Leslie Kendall on behalf of Global Garages. Thanks for watching.